Hey everybody, I haven't got to do a race or training recap in a while. Um, actually, I've had a lot of opportunities to do them, I just haven't done them. So, uh, I don't remember when the last one I did is, but to catch up on things going on over the past couple of months, um, I have had, the last three months have been my largest three monthly mileage volumes of the entire time I've been running, which is, uh, you know, just two years, uh, just past two years. Um, I had a eight mile race in the beginning of this month, the second Saturday of this month on the 9th. And, uh, I ran the, it's an eight mile course, um, which is why they call it an eight miler. <laughs> very hilly especially in the first half um and then the second half is um rolling hills but gradually descending back down into town um and last year i ran that course in an hour 24 and something um so my goal this year was to take 10 minutes off of that time uh which i did i ran it in an hour 14 and some change um, but the way that I got there wasn't the way that I meant to get there. I meant to run, um, a 9.45 for the first mile, which has a big uphill, and then a 9.35 for the second mile, which is mostly flat, a little rolly, but mostly flat. Um, and my plan there was, I can go a little faster on mile two because of that. I don't have to rain it down. So if I end up a little bit ahead, then just... I just bank that. That's just so much for the better. And then mile three, which goes down and then up the second big hill. Uh, I was also planning for 945 for that one and then 935 for the fourth mile, um, which you're out of your biggest hills, but there's still a long grinding hill, um, which I call our heartbreak hill. Um, although there's another one closer to the finish line, which is a smaller grade that other people one other person calls Heartbreak Hill around here. Uh, I call the one I call Heartbreak Hill because um, you've gone through these two big hills and then you feel like you ought to be done, but no, you're just going up for the next half a mile. Um, so I plan to go 9.35 in the fourth mile and then run 9 flat for the last four. Um, now, you're thinking... Gosh, those don't sound like fast times, and they're not, so chill out. Um, what happened, though, was that I got to the top of the hill at mile one, and instead of 9.45, my watch said 8.55. Um, and then the second mile was slightly faster. It was like 8.49. Um, and then I was in pain, and I was in pain for about four miles. And then the last two miles I ran, my seventh mile was the fastest run of the day, uh, and then the ninth mile was in the range of the those three fastest miles. So, um, it wasn't how I wanted to do it, but I, I got the time that I wanted. It hurt really bad. Instead of, um, you know, like, gradually wearing out, I was thrown into, I put myself into the deep end and had to struggle. Um, but anyway, I hit the time target that I wanted to hit, um, and still didn't feel good about it. Um, but that's okay. Onwards and upwards. Uh, at the end of October, I am racing the Indianapolis Monumental Half Marathon, which is in Indianapolis. Uh, and I have set a goal for myself of, um, I have not run under two hours yet. Um, I think I can. Um, but I think at 204, Four is a more probable projection for that race. Um, so I'm going to say 204, but I think I can get under two hours if I have a good day. Um, and the way the training has gone since the race, the eight mile race, which is only a week and a half ago, um, is that uh, I didn't take time off really. That following Monday, I ran seven miles in the middle part of the day when it was hot ill-advised to be the first run back but I ran seven miles didn't even care about the time just it was slow I was sore uh 
I just went out and ran it. Um, and then since that seven, I've been pretty quick, a lot quicker than what I was doing before the race and even into the race. Um, so this past Saturday, I ran eight miles again, but I ran, instead of running like 920 pace, it was 912 pace. So that's a pretty significant improvement in a week. Um, not the same course, but also similarly hilly. Uh, so uh, now I just have a few weeks, really, to get ready for the, the other half. Uh, and I'm going to be doing um, two weeks with a 10-mile long day and two weeks with a 12-mile long day and then taper into the race. Um, and then after the race, I'm going to take a little bit of time off because um, I haven't had I haven't had a break. Um, let's see. I think that's it. But yeah, I've had kind of the fastest I've been in the last two years. My eight mile run last Saturday, not the race, the next week, I had a personal best asterisk, you know, for the past two years, personal best, uh, for two mile, 5k, and 10k. I set three PRs in the context of an eight mile run. Uh, so there's, there are good things happening there, and, uh, I'm trying to kind of dance with the one who brought me, <laughs> instead, so instead of, like, I'm starting to pick up pace and I'm going to change the way I train. No, the way that I've been training is what's caused me to pick up the pace. I need to stick with it um, and trust that that program because uh, it's working for me. Um, that 5K PR is 16 seconds. That's not nothing. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about uh, the next several weeks of training and, and going into that race. And I really think... I really think two hours is doable, um, but we'll see, you know. I also might run the first two miles way too fast. I probably will. That's my MO. Uh, but the nice thing about Indianapolis is it's a flat town, so um, I should be able to cruise pretty well uh, and, and, and just go. So, uh, everybody's told me it's a fast course, and, uh, I'm looking for that one to be, uh, a new PR, which, uh, I feel like, um, I only have two ever lifetime attempts at that distance, and, uh, the, it's low-hanging fruit, um, so, uh, I feel like a, a PR is is definitely doable it's just where am i gonna land on that scale i think 204 202 both reasonable two I, I swear i think i can do two hours um and then also i've been looking at my other prs for uh longer than 10k that are track 10 miles 15k there's been a slight edit uh, I've been looking at my 10 mile, 15 K, 20 K, uh, PRs as well as the half marathon. And I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement there that I think is, is within reach. I think my, um, my eight miles from last week was nine twelves and my 15 K PR, just 1.4 ish miles more, uh, is like nine fifties pace. So there's definitely a lot of room to bring that that down um i think there's a lot of room for growth coming up ahead and i'm excited about uh where we're headed so um i will see you out there